Holly from BB Library and welcome to Ukulele Kids Play Along. Today my theme is Batter Up. This is um, you know, the, uh, the time that the baseball season starts up for the, the baseball teams and especially the Red Sox. So I have three songs that are about baseball. All right, so let's tune. G. For today, my little ukulele tip. I want to show you something that you can do. You don't even don't even need this hand. That you can do if you're watching TV or you're just you've just got some time or you just want to sit for a bit. And that is, you can practice chain, chord changes without having to do some strumming. Just kind of play C, G, C, G, C. Practice going between them. And of course, I've, I've said this a lot of times, but I like to do it just with my eyes closed, just so you can feel what the changes feel like. Get that muscle memory going. So don't even play anything at all. Um, C, F. How does that feel to play that? Just kind of do that, practicing it so, like it's, so it's over and over. And, um, a hard one. Actually, I think the hardest of, of like these first chord changes is going from F to G. And we do have this in, in some of our songs, F to G. And I think a lot of it is because every finger has to move and you're moving down down um, a set of frets too. So it's, um, but try, just choose. Even you know, it's um, like today we have D we're going to be doing and we have a couple, we're get, we have um, A minor, we have um, E. Try just going between those and see how it feels. Close your eyes and um, till you get really comfortable with it. And a lot of learning chords is that muscle memory. It's you're so used to doing it that um, you just move it. So that's it. You know, don't even don't even worry about this hand at the moment. Just that. So that's my tip for today is just I've, I've started doing that. My family, I think, thinks I'm crazy, but I'll, I'll sit working on. I've been learning an, an, a new way to play a chord rather than um, rather than the super hard way that you do it. So I will, I, I'll just sit and just, just do this and then go back and, and practice. So it's pretty fun. So let's start, start with our three songs. The first one is a song called I Love to Play Baseball. Um, it's by a group called Milkshake. And um, uh, it's, it's fun, it's got a, a really great, I think the opening to it is one of the better I've heard to a song. So it, it's gonna use, gonna use I C, it's gonna use F, it's going to use G, it's going to use A minor, and it's going to use D. And usually I say that if you're playing G or D, that, um, you know, kind of play with play everything in the up position. I don't think you have to hear, because it goes C, F, D, and then keep the G up. All right, so let's just take a look at the chord. So let's play four of our C's. One, two, three, four, and then four F's. Two, and then get ready. Think how that D is. How, what do you do with your hand? You're gonna go up, D, and then G. And that that is actually the opening uh, to it. it. It goes, it's a hit. I just put one arrow going down in that case just just one down and it makes a good intro so it starts with it's a hit it's a hit it's a hit and then I love to play baseball and then from there on it's going to be um, gonna be using it's the only D in the song is is there in that little thing and I just love that progression I think it's awesome so this is how it goes it's a hit it's a hit I love to play baseball in my backyard. I got my cap and glove on. Catch that ball and throw real hard. Mom is pitching, dad is catching, my friends are in the outfield. I love to 
play baseball. basically how it how it goes and so you've got for the buck, buck of the song it's c f g c f g so it's kind of familiar and go back and forth between c and f on the chorus and then and then a minor so let's see i'll let you hear what the what the last verse sounds like um running around the bases laughing in the summer sun all the smiling faces to play baseball in my backyard. It's a hit, it's a hit, it's a hit. So the last time, the last it's a hit is, there's no D, C, F, G, C. So it's, it's a hit, it's a hit, it's a hit. So that's how it goes. Uh, there's a couple things you can do with this that are, are fun, one of which is is muting some strings. So, you know, it's a hit, it's a hit, it's a hit, hit. So you to, to go, it's a hit, and then one time down and block it. I love to play baseball in my backyard. Got my, my, got my cap and glove on. Catch a ball and throw real hard. That one I think I keep going. So try, try finding places at the end where you can, I love to play baseball in my backyard, that you can make some, you know, kind of muting. Just muting just means putting your hand over the strings to stop them from vibrating. So practice just doing my backyard, yard, yard, like that. Um, throw that ball real hard. I keep that one going. Mom is pitching. Dad is pitching. Catching. My friends are in the outfield. Just keep going. And running around the bases, laughing in the summer sun. I, I like that at all, all the smiling faces. I just hit a big home run. Mom is pitching, dad is catching, my friends are in the outfield. I love to play baseball in my backyard. And to practice that, that muting, um, there's a lot of different ways you can you can mute with your with your finger, uh, like in my backyard. You can just do it that way, yard. But that is kind of is more of a coordination problem. The easiest way in that case is just to block it with your hand, or you can block it with your palm. But the hand is the easiest. We've been doing that. And you, it's the same sort of thing, except you, you don't have to make a sound. You know. Um, in my backyard, you don't need to do that. Just, just block it, and that'll stop them. It's called muting the string. Muting just means to stop the strings from vibrating. So that is, I love to play baseball. So here is my baseball bat, and uh, it's a pretty cool song. It was, it originally was a a punk song, like a kid punk song, and so I've chosen to do the strumming in that way. And so for the intro, we have G's and C's, but try to keep your hands. Without, without moving around, don't, um, because I, um, I watch people while they're playing, and sometimes beginning players will, you're playing the G, and now you've got to do the C, you'll take your hand off, and look, practice for going from one, this is a good thing in front of the TV, going from one to the other, and see how, how small a movement you can make between, you know, sometimes if you're playing a song that is, like, up here, and then you've got to go play one down there, it's different, but in the case of G and C, they're pretty close. And for, for the D is also fairly close. You've got some fingers that are, are like right in that position. So, well, this is how this goes. So it's for the, the intro is gonna be, start the G, it's gonna be three beats of G and one beat of C. And the beat is up and down. So it's, it's gonna be down, up, down, up, down, up, and then just one of the C, C. Down, up, down, up, down, up, C. Down, up, C, down, up, C. And then just, play a whole bunch of G's to, until you're ready to sing. And we're going to keep this sort of, um, the, the kind of um, 
up and down. It'll be good, good exercise. You, your wrist may get tired, but it's good exercise to do to, to kind of practice. And don't play hard. That's hard. Just make it nice and light. So, uh, so this is uh, the opening, and I'll do the first little bit for you. It goes. with the G, G up and down, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, try that with me, just, we'll go a little slower, down, up, down, up, down, up, so G, 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 C, G, 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 C, G, 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 C, all right, and then let's try just G, C. So let's try, and it's it, it, the sound is, you know, I've got my ball, I got my hat, which I'm sure I sang bat every single time, but it's, I got my ball, I got my hat, I've got my glove and my baseball bat, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, it doesn't go to the, the F, it, and then it goes right in, oh, oh yeah, that's the D, yeah, oh yeah, oh, and then, so let's try it, I'll do it a little bit slower, so we'll go just that far, ready, here we go, ready? term a lot of times in um in musicals in particular like the people are doing lines and they and you just kind of vamp you just keep playing until they get done when they say they get done with their line and then you move on so we're gonna vamp here he goes i got my ball i got my hat i got my glove and my baseball bat oh yeah It goes on, you're going to vamp a little bit, and then two Fs, two Gs, two Fs, two Gs, and so what do you I got my ball, I got my bat, I got my glove and my 
baseball bat, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, and then So anytime you get done with all of those, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, take your time, when you're ready to move on, move on. So that's how that one goes, so we'll do that at the play along. And the things definitely to practice there is, I, I do think the, the F, the F to the G, because you are, you're making, it's a huge, if you look at my fingers, it's like changing sides. That one is hard to do. And practice, just before you do it, just, just, Sometimes that there's some like hard difference. This one um, is a challenging strumming pattern because if you go too, if you go too heavy, it's gonna, it's gonna, you have to do it quite light to just let it kind of float across the strings. But because this is kind of a punky song, you can do it loudly. Because <laughs> there are definitely are things when you're learning to do, you know, like triple strums and things like that. It it just is so uncoordinated in the beginning. You just feel like I'm never gonna get it, but. That's something you can just sit and do this. You know, you could be doing something else. Maybe you could be watching TV and just doing that when no one's around your family. I don't think will put up with that. Oh, so that is my baseball bat. And the last one I know you know. And it is the hardest one, so I saved it for last. And that is Take Me Out to the Ball Game. It's a challenging song. <laughs> a lot of chords in it. Um, so this one uses a lot. It uses the G we've been using. It uses the D7, which we've done much. And then it uses an E7. And E7 um, is one of my favorite chords. We've done it, but it's, um, there's E7. And also an A7, it's just a nice one-fingered one. And um, G7. And unfortunately, I tried to make that a G, but it doesn't sound right. An A minor and a C. And so, um, all right, so let's see. With this one, it is in... It is in one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You notice what I'm doing there? I'm not going one, two, three. I'm going one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, in this, beat one of each measure gets a little bit stronger beat. So here, in, rather than just going, because this would be one, two, three, four. You want to make sure that you can tell it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So go a little bit. So it goes like this. I'm gonna go a little slower. Okay. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. E7 here. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root. Root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a some of these go. I automatically did this. I didn't say anything to you, but I automatically, rather than doing my G down, like I'm going to be in the key of C, which I, I need to add that right there, I automatically put my hand put my hand up. And I didn't say anything to you, but because you are there on the G, you need to get to the D7, which is right next to it, just, and then back over here. So you want to stay up. And E is also one of those, E7 is also one of those chords that um, you can play down or you can play up. Keep it up. So first fret with your first finger, second fret on, uh, second fret on the, uh, the C string with your second finger and your third finger is gonna go on the second fret of the A string. There it is. So buy me some peanuts and so just slip over to that A and then um, A minor, then A7. Don't care if I ever get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. In fact, be honest, I think at that point, root, root, root for the home team. I think I'd turn that one around. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three. 
three strikes and out at the oval game. And I would, I would keep my hands when I got to the root, the um, the if they don't, if they don't win, it's a shame at the G seven. I would, at that point, you, you're up there for the E. I'm sorry, the D seven. I'd come, I'd come down because because these are all lower chords. And then up for them, D7. You don't even get for the F D7. You can, you can keep it all down there. But you do have to keep it up there in the beginning. It's easier. All right. So I um let's let me do it for you. We'll kind of slow. So here we go. About one, two, three. Take me out to the ball. But it's meant they're meant to be funny. Sometimes they'll they we we did we've done when we did Yoda, that was one of those. So this is take me out of the bathtub. So take me out of the bathtub. Take me out of the sun. I've been here soaking since half past two. I feel so sudsy and wrinkly too. Oh, I wash. the bathtub um so that's um that's it so we get to our play along all right let's do i love to play baseball i'm gonna play these all i tend to play play things fast i'm gonna slow them down so um i notice that when i do play along sometimes the person doing it does them so fast and, and i hate that when i'm learning it so so here we go okay here we go it's a hit it's a hit I love to play baseball. In my backyard, I got my cap and glove on. Catch that ball and throw real hard. Mom is pitching, dad is catching, my friends are in the outfield. I love to play baseball. around the bases, laughing in the summer sun, all the smiling faces. I just hit a big home run. Mom is pitching, dad is catching, my friends are in the outfield. I love to play baseball. It's really, it's like, it's, you know, it's really fast. We're not going to do that. So, all right, so here's my baseball bat. Let's keep that strum going all the way through. No matter which chord you're playing, you can play. Just keep, keep it going. So we're going to play uh, the opening. So the three C's up and down, or the three G's and then the C. Ready? Here we go. Love and my 
go between the, the uh, F and G, two each. because it, um, it is the hardest chords. All right, we're gonna start up. Okay, here we go. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanut and cracker jacks. I don't care if we never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. All right, want to do the bathtub too? Why not? Here we go. Take me out to the bath. Take me out of the bathtub. Take me out of the bathtub. Take me out of the sods. I've been here soaking since half past two. I feel so lonely and wrinkly too. Oh, I washed all over my body, my head, my toes in between. I used one, two, three bars of soap. Take me out. I'm clean. Well, th thank you for joining for the opening day songs. Next week is going to be a little bit different uh, since I'm, I'm going to be out of town. So I'm just going to decide to do... Um, to do like a, a beginning, a beginner's um, overview of the ukulele. So if you want to go back and see how much you know, how much you remember, or maybe um, I will have covered something that I, I didn't originally, because the last time I did a beginner's thing was way back um, in, in the early in the fall. So I thought I would um, try to do it and do a better job at explaining some things. So hope to see you. Yeah, bye-bye.